And welcome to Science in a Movie. I'm Erica. I'm Katie. And this is our special guest, Angela. She won our contest last week, and her prize is being a guest on our show. And a star in our movie. Wait, I thought this was dinner in a movie. No, sorry, we only made dinner last week. But that's okay, Angela. You'll learn lots of fun scientific things while you're here. Today, we will be watching the behind-the-scenes footage of Snakes on a Plane 2, while discussing the techniques the snakes use to fly. Snakes can... What? Yes, Angela, they can. Does that mean that my pet boa constrictor is going to fly away? <laughs> I don't think you have anything to worry about. Don't worry, Angela. Only a couple species can, um, like the genus Chrysopelia. There's only five species of them, so you don't have to worry about those boa constrictors or anacondas or common garden snakes, so you're okay. We'll explain more in our following clips. Let's take a look at clip one. Should I just stop it? Just say action. Action. Okay, wait, let's do that again. I'll make it more delayed. Make it look like an anchor J loop. Ah, an anchor J loop to my leg! Off of the branch. The snake then propels itself upward and forward in these next phases. Then it releases itself from the branch, straightens and flattens its body, and wriggles through the air. Yes, Angela. Is that like when someone does the worm? Yes. Oh. On to our next clip. I'm still not safe off the plane. Why is there a pine tree here in the jungle? 
No. This scene, try to react to the snake hitting you. So, action. A little more emotion. Ah, uh, Samuel Jackson, you suck at movies! Sliding loop and the anchor J loop, but that didn't really look like a loop. It actually wasn't a loop at all, Angela. It was either a dive or a fall. And in the dive and fall, the snake will wrap its posterior body around the branch, just like in a J loop takeoff. But instead of forming a loop, it simply just releases itself off the branch. In the dive, the snake will move its anterior body and head and then release itself from the branch. But in the fall, it'll simply just release itself and plunge to the ground. After all that, what'd you learn today, Angela? Well, I learned that there's three types of takeoffs for snakes. The anchor J loop, the sliding loop, and the dive and fall. The oh, dive and fall is goodness. the fastest. The sliding loop is the second fastest, and the anchor J loop is the longest. I also, while you guys were looking through clips, I looked on the internet and I found some new, really fun facts. Wow. The first one is that the smaller the snakes are, the faster and further they go, so you better watch out for those baby snakes. <laughs> <laughs> the next is that snakes mostly glide through the trees to escape predators or catch their prey. The last is, unlike birds, snakes don't even leave legs to take off. They just use these cool techniques that we talked about. That's totally right. That's some great real life information. And I think we should look at some real life clips because what we saw today wasn't very realistic. I think we need a better understanding of how they take off. Yeah. snakes thrown at you all day? Well, uh, it, was a, it was a real process actually. When I first got this role, I, uh, I met with a professor at Union College named Professor Kirkton. And he taught me everything I needed to know about various invertebrates and things like that. And then what I would do is for six months, I spent nothing but Cut. time in the tub with snake. Why? It was vertebrates, not invertebrates. A snake's a vertebrate? <laughs> yeah. The fuck? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> they don't have spines. <laughs> Yeah, they do. They, they do? do? <laughs> like rib cages. Rib cage is not spine. <laughs> the rib cage is attached to the spine. Take the class. <laughs> no. History major. I'm not. And that's why you don't know the difference between a vertebrae and an invertebrae. Oh, yeah? Yeah. We're in World War II. Bet you don't know, <laughs> Germany. <laughs> Just trying to read up between scenes about snakes. <laughs> Does it hurt the snake when it lands? I don't know the answer to that. Clean up. Just throw it in there. Yeah. Throw it in the box. Lovely tree. Oh, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 